In this video, we'll show you how to extract and save all organic and site results from all available pages using Google Scholar Organic and Site Results API. To get started, head over to SERP API Playground and make sure you're on the Google Scholar API. Enter the desired search query if you want to see results in your browser, and pick additional search query parameters if needed. To extract publications data, we'll be iterating over the organic results hash key to get data about each publication. To extract data from all available pages, we'll be using the SERP API pagination hash key, which will get us all needed search parameters data to paginate to the next page. Don't forget to use export to code playground feature to generate boilerplate code for you, down to the actual code. In this case, we have a small script with four functions. First one is to extract organic results from all available pages. The second one is to extract site results from those organic results. And the last two functions to save organic and site results to CSV file using pandas. In the organic results function, we need to pass your SERP API key. Enter the desired search engine from where data will be extracted and enter a search query with additional search parameters. Next, we need to create a temporary list of where data will be stored before moving to the next place. Add a while loop to iterate over all pages, extract publications from each page, and append to the temporary list as a dictionary. Once data from the page is extracted and appended, we need to check if the next page is present, and if present, paginate to the next page. Otherwise, break out of the loop and return the data. We're currently working on improving pagination across all search engines. This approach is a subject of change. Next is extracting site results. The approach is very similar, except we need to call an organic results function which will extract organic results first, and then it will get results IDs from those results and extract citation data in a loop. Then we need to append the data to the temporary list and return it if needed. This example shows how to extract site results, but you can also extract citation links to bibtex and so on. The final step is to save the data to CSV files. With pandas, it's really easy. All we have to do is to convert the Python dictionary to pandas data frame, and call the CSV method which saves data to CSV. You can save data to CSV with a built-in context manager so there's no need to use pandas dependencies. Here's an output from extracting organic and site results from all available pages on a particular search query and saving them to CSV files. If you have any questions or confusion, drop us a comment in the comments section. See you in the next video.